say hi. <laughs> hi. We're going to share story time with you again, and today we're going to read one of Curtis's favorites. It's called Click Clack Moo, Cows the Type. And it is by Doreen Cronin. Mm. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack, moo, click clack, moo, clickety clack, moo. <coughs> At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type, impossible. Click clack, moo, click clack, moo, clickety clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough that the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click clack, moo. Click clack, moo. Clickety clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click clack. Moo. Click clack. Moo. Clickety clack. Moo. Cows that type. Hands on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. <laughs> Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Oh. Duck was a neutral party, oh. so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the other animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriters for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door, and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. <laughs> Sincerely, the cows. <laughs> Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, wah. The pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. The end. Thanks for sharing our story with us today, guys. Bye. Say bye.